Hello everybody and welcome to EduMedia YouTube channel, the best platform for credible, accurate and educative information. In this video, we will look at the Bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives. We will explain each of the taxonomies and their various behaviors. Towards the end of this video, we will look at some NTC past questions in this topic as well as sample questions likely to feature in the upcoming NTC examination. If this is the first time you are watching a lesson from this channel, please consider subscribing and liking our videos. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and we are happy to have you as a reliable subscriber. The Bloom's Taxonomy is a ranked model developed to provide educators, trainers and administrators with a tool for classifying educational goals and learning outcomes. Developed in 1956, it is considered the oldest popular and well-accepted domains of learning outcome. This taxonomy of learning behaviors may be thought as the goals of the learning process. That is, after a learning process, the learner should have acquired a new skill or knowledge or attitude. There are three main domains of the Bloom's taxonomy. They include cognitive domain, affective domain, and the psychomotor domain. The cognitive domain deals with the mental skills the affective domain deals with the feelings or emotions and then the psycho domain deals with the manual or physical skills. The cognitive domain involves knowledge and the development of intellectual skills. It focuses on the learner's ability to process information in a meaningful way. This involves the ability of the learner to recall facts, patterns and concepts. It also involves the ability of the learner to recognize facts patterns and concepts. There are six sub-behaviors under the cognitive domain. They include evaluation, synthesis, analysis, application, comprehension, and knowledge. The lowest or simplest behavior is knowledge, and the complex behavior is evaluation. Now, these categories can be thought of as degree of difficulties. That is, the first ones must normally be mastered before the next one can take place. So when you have a learner, you want to set an objective for the learner. You start by setting an objective that sort to test the learner's knowledge as compared to the evaluation. This version of the cognitive domain was published in 1956. In 2001, a revised version by Lauren Anderson and David Grathwa was released. The changes they made were 1. Changing the names from noun to verbs. So instead of having the word knowledge, they changed that to a verb, which is remembering. And then another change they made is rearranging the top two behaviors. So they rearranged the creating and then the evaluating. Here we have some of the verbs under each of the subdomains. You can pause the video and go through these verbs. Familiarizing yourself with these verbs will help in constructing your own objectives and identifying what an objective is trying to ascertain from a learner. The next topic we're going to look at is the affective domain. The affective domain focuses on how learners deal with things emotionally. The learning outcome reflects feelings, values, motivation, attitudes, interest, enthusiasm, and appreciation. There are five major categories under this domain. They include internalizing, organization, valuing, responding, receiving. The simplest behavior under this domain is receiving, and then the complex is internalizing. These are some of the verbs under each of the subdomains. You can pause the video and go through these verbs. Familiarize yourself with these verbs so that you can construct a meaningful and valid objective. The next topic we're going to look at is the psychomotor domain. This behavior includes physical, manipulative capabilities involving the sense of touch and balance. This includes physical movement, coordination, and the use of motor skill. Development of these skills requires practice and is measured in terms of speed. 
distance, procedures, or techniques in execution. Thus, psychomotor skills range from manual tasks such as digging a ditch or washing a car to more complex tasks such as operating a complex piece of machinery or dancing. There are seven major categories listed under this domain, ranging from the simplest behavior, that's perception, to the most complex behavior, that's origination. These are some of the verbs under each of the subdomains. You can pause the video and go through these verbs. Familiarizing yourself with these verbs will help in constructing your own objective and identifying what an objective is trying to ascertain from a learner. The next topic we're going to look at is questions and answers. For each of the question, pause the video and try to think through it and see if you can answer it yourself. Each question is followed by its answer. Question number one. The lowest level of taxonomy of educational objectives of cognitive domain given by Bloom is A. Application B. Knowledge C. Analysis and D. Comprehension The answer here is Knowledge Question number two. Which of the following is a domain of learning? A. Spiritual B. Psychodynamic C. Affective and D. Professional The answer here is Affective Question number three. Which of the following cognitive verbs are used to analyze information given? A. Describe B. Differentiate C. Classify and D. Repeat The answer here is Classify Question number 4 the doing aspect of behavior falls in the a psychomotor domain b psychological domain c affective domain and d cognitive domain the answer here is psychomotor domain question number five a student frequently exhibits aggression towards his peer group and does not conform to the rules and regulations of the school this student needs help in a psychomotor domain b affective domain c thinking skills and d cognitive domain the answer here is affective domain question number six a student breaks down the sequence of processes inside a plant to understand photosynthesis which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Analyzing B. Understanding C. Thinking skills and D. Applying The answer here is analyzing. Question number 7. A learner explains the steps in building a Toyota 4x4 car. Which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Analyzing B. Understanding C. Thinking skills and D. Mechanism The answer here is understanding. Question number 8. A learner builds a Toyota 4x4 car. Which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Analyzing B. Understanding C. Thinking skills and D. Mechanism the answer here is mechanism. Question number nine. A student used a wind vane to check the wind direction in his or her house. Which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Internalizing. B. Understanding. C. Applying. And D. Perception. The answer here is applying. Question number ten. A student describes the characteristics of a reptile. Which of the options best describes the learner's activity? A. Remembering B. Synthesis C. Perception and D. Psychology The answer here is remembering. Question number 11. A learner modifies a formula in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet 
for faster generation of data. Which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Remembering B. Perception C. Applying and D. Creating The answer here is Creating. Question number 12. A learner interprets the information on a pie chart to his colleagues. Which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Internalizing B. Perception C. Understanding and D. Creating The answer here is understanding. Question number 13. The teacher asked John to translate the passage into English. Which of the options best describe the learner's activity? A. Receiving B. Mechanism C. Understanding and D. Creating The answer here is understanding. Question number 14. What is the capital of Ghana? Which of the options best describe this activity? A. Receiving B. Remembering C. Set and D. Understanding The answer here is remembering. Question number 15. Identify the correct steps for putting on a face mask. Which of the options best describe this activity? A. Receiving B. Remembering C. Set and D. Understanding The answer here is Understanding This is all that I have for you in this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please hit the like button and share this video. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe and subscribe. I would really appreciate your subscription. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell us the subject and topics you would like us to cover in our subsequent videos. Thank you for staying with us till the end and see you in our next video.